Well, hurricane season isn't over just yet, and we're keeping an eye on some activity out in the Gulf. For the very latest, let's turn to meteorologist Sharon Ray, who is standing by with more. Sharon? Yes, absolutely, Paulo. There's going to be a major hurricane. It's already a Category 2 Delta. will be in the Gulf by tomorrow, and with that, we're watching it closely, but right now it does not look like it's coming here directly, but the impacts we will see are uh, the higher swells and the minor coastal flooding. So watch for that water coming up higher on the beaches starting today and the next couple of days. Some of, the, some of that water up to the, possibly the dunes or the access roads on the beaches the next couple of days. It is going to those stay mainly dry. Now some of that tropical moisture does graze the area Thursday and with that we will have a stray shower chance but most of the area is staying dry right into the weekend and we're heating back up. It's going to be a hot sticky weekend with highs in the low 90s before our next cold front arrives for next Tuesday. So right now we are seeing 67 degrees. It's a beautiful morning in Corpus Christi. Orange Grove was 67, 72 at Ingleside right now. Uh, the wind continues to be fairly light out there, hardly blowing and calm in our inland areas right now. A breeze picks up slightly today, a nice moderate breeze by late this afternoon, but nothing very strong. In fact, about a 10, possibly up to about 15 in some coastal areas as we head into the afternoon hours. But uh, pretty light winds do continue today. High temperatures though are going to be pretty warm out there. We're hitting 92 at Alice today to nearing 90 at Beeville and Sinton and Corpus Christi 89 for the high and right up the coastline in the lower 80s near Port Aransas. So we have that coastal flood advisory. Uh, the low tide comes in this morning at 1141. We'll see the high tide following that tonight at 9 o'clock. So uh, water will be lower by late morning. 10 knot winds, 3 to 6 foot seas to Today in bays smooth to slightly choppy. Post tropical gamma, yes, that was a tropical storm yesterday, but it has moved inland the Yucatan Peninsula, so is uh, has been downgraded now. Not a concern with gamma, but. Hurricane Delta is a concern. It is going to strengthen over the next few days. And look at this, possibly a Category 4 storm before it moves over the northern Yucatan Peninsula uh, tomorrow early afternoon and enters the Gulf as a Category 3 storm. Now, notice the track here heading to the northwest, but upper level steering currents are still forecast to sharply turn that to the north and take it into Louisiana, possibly. Still a lot of uncertainty in that cone here, but you can see uh, the most probable path continues to be for the Louisiana coastline by late Friday and early Saturday morning as a Category 2 storm. So certainly another powerful system to impact the central Gulf Coast. Not coming here at this time. It looks like we are going to be in the clear from this, but we will watch it the next few days. What we are going to see, and as I show you future tracker, you can see the moisture from that system gradually works its way toward the coastline, and we do see the clouds increase a bit by Thursday, and like I mentioned, perhaps a stray shower, but notice that most of the rain stays off the coastline. This is Thursday into early Friday morning. And then as that system moves up the coast, we continue to be on the dry side of the storm, and that means a lot of sunshine and temperatures heating up too. Here's your seven day forecast, and you can see those temperatures do climb into the lower 90s here by the time we get into the weekend.